Yo, what is good boys and welcome back to another video of Avenge.io. So we're just going to jump in and this video is going to be, uh, what, what, what do I think they can do to improve the game? Um, there's not a lot realistically, um, because the game in my opinion is perfect how it is. Uh, there can only be improvements to better the game rather than what do I think they can do to improve it would be kind of like an understatement because uh you can only better what is already the best you know what i mean and that's my opinion obviously very opinionated but i genuinely love everything about vengeance oh my god did he really great just game. do that dang got another follower what up rushy boy i hope you're doing amazing appreciate the follow you as well javar varney thank you so much for the follow um i guess what i would love to see is let's jump in and i can show you so right now the visibility of the game is i wouldn't say awful but it's definitely not very easy to see people in here i think my suggestion would be simply lower the brightness of this map lower it just a little bit so that enemies are very easy to see and the reason why is because it'll make the game so much more competitive being able to see the enemies a little bit more clearer and now, don't get me wrong, the enemies are still pretty damn clear, but what I, what I mean by lower the brightness, character oh models God, should really stay with the same brightness, right? You shouldn't lower the brightness of the character model, it's just the background, like the map itself, uh, uh, lower the brightness on Sierra. With Temple, you can increase the brightness, so let's go over to Temple and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We got Sierra over there, and we've got Temple right here. These are the main maps that I play. And now, my original suggestion would have been change the textures, right? Change the textures because when you go up against Shen and we have a Shen in here, you can barely see this dude. You see it? Like, oh my god, this guy's practically invisible against the map. And the reason why is because if you look at the top of Shin right here, he actually blends with the top of the mountain or the, like the gravel of the, the temple. Like this spot right here, his head kind of blends in and his body kind of blends in with this spot over here. So if you were able to actually uh, brighten up the walls a little bit, that would probably be the best feature or the best uh, update that could possibly come. And I don't think it's an update that that will dramatically affect performance either. You're just changing the brightness of the textures or something like that. I think that would be a great feature. Another one, and this has been posted in suggestions a few times. Um, and this is a quality of life feature. Disable the prayer hands. The, or being able to disable the prayer hands in settings. Uh, the prayer hands are those right there, and the reason why is because you're way over here and you can see it, right? That's okay, but as you get closer, you can still see it. You have to be on top of it to not be able to see it. So if there's enemies over here, this actually blocks the visibility. So I don't know if we can have the opportunity to show you that. Um, let's see if we can lure a player over there. Trying to see if someone. Oh, 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 will he do it? So you see that? That that blocks him. Like, see that view? That viewpoint completely blocks the guy. Like, you see how he jumps into the little uh, area? It completely blocks him. So I, I would love to see that possibly disabled in the future. Now, the rain is another issue. Being able to disable the rain would actually help with performance a lot. Um, now I'm not entirely certain if we can actually disable it in here, but yeah, I already have low effects and you can still see the rain and I feel like the rain being able to be disabled would help the game a lot. Um, yeah, I think so. So that's probably the a few major uh, updates that I would love to see. Um, but then we go back to Sierra. Let's go back to Sierra over here. And let's see, where is the point at? Should have a point coming up here. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I actually don't see any point at all. Oh, it's right here. 
So actually, this is fine. And I think this is a glitch right now that it's not showing the flag. But sometimes you can see the flag. And if I can't see it on the client, which is what I'm using right here, then 100% you can see it on the browser. Being able to get rid of that um, or being able to disable it, kind of like the prayer hands, would actually help the game a lot as well. Um, that would improve visibility, which is a constant issue in the game currently. And that's what I was talking about when I was saying the brightness of maps, lowering them or increasing them so that visibility can be a little bit better on the maps. I would love to see that possibly get added into the game. Another big issue since we're on this map is if you go over here and you hit that jump like that specifically, in some areas you can actually glitch on top of the map. Like right here, I don't know if I'm able to do it the first try, but I don't think so. You have to, don't get me wrong, you have to actually hit it. And now if you can't hit it, you're just not going to be able to do it. But that would be another great feature, making it where in certain spots, now double jump in my opinion is oh, a great feature, I really like it, because you can have like a pretty solid, uh, it's mechanical, right? And it helps the game in this way and that way. It's a really cool mechanical, uh, you know, if you're able to do it, you're able to do it, right? But like in spots like that, you shouldn't be able to do it. And the reason why is because you can directly get out of the map like that. Um... In this spot, it really doesn't matter if you can do it, because if you can't do it, you can still go from the ledge to that this area up here and still able to get out of the map, right? Um, Other than that, and I just posted this in suggestions, if you go over to friends, you see how everything else is transparent, like this is transparent, that's transparent, and so on. Maybe this will get added in the future, and maybe I'm kind of like pushing for something that's already going to get added. But when you hit friends, uh, this area right here should be also transparent. I think that would look really clean and kind of match what we're going for, right? This should be transparent. I know it can be done with CSS, but I think it should already be there, right? If we're doing it with everything else in the user interface, that should also be transparent. Um, with this as well, I think... Uh, we can keep the pink and white, but kind of make this transparent, possibly. I don't know. It, it's kind of like on the border of, do we need it? Is it really worth mentioning? I don't know. Man. Um, Other than that, I think what would also be cool, and let's go to clans. I actually love this. This is amazing. I think this is new, where you can see the level uh, kills, deaths, KDR. I love that. I think that's cool. I'm pretty sure that's something like newer to the game. Um, I would love to see, and this is also something that's been suggested a few times, um, the ability to have clan based quest or like, you know how we, where, where was that quest right here? So you have the quest right here or the dailies. So completing this rewards you with this much. So I think what would be really cool is if we have another bunch of these like three quests in the same format and because VG is XP in clans, you can earn 300 VG for your clan, 100 VG for your clan or 50 VG for your clan. I think that would be an absolutely amazing feature to be added to the game and it gives more reason to play the game. Um, otherwise, the game being absolutely amazing to begin with, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I've always liked this game. Uh, if you're watching, you already know that. Um. Oh, what's happening here? So, possibly found a bug, or I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I cannot click my clan. I cannot click clan. But anyway, that would be really cool. I think, um... You should actually have to physically click. I wish I could go to clan because I'm still on that topic. You should also have to physically click uh, level up on your clan when you have VG. And why? Because then you can keep your VG in your clan. And what can this be used for? Let's say there's clan specific items. You have your base template of a skin. So let, let's say a Shen skin. And on the back... You can have your clan logo. And now what I would recommend is having your base logos, right? Something that you, the developers, uh, made. Um, 
It can be anything from an X to a skull, stuff like that, right? Very generic, but customizable. You can change the color. You can add, you can um, overlay multiple logos onto one logo to make a unique logo. I think that'd be really cool. And you can have it on a shin skin. It can be on any skin, actually. I think it should just be on the player model itself. It's some cool features that I'm just thinking about on the of my tongue as we're talking like you know me i just come up with these ideas out of the blue um i another feature that i think would be absolutely amazing is let's say under graphics adding a color blind mode something like that you don't know who your community is who your target audience is at the end of the day you might be targeting people who are in school so you can get more players or uh, people who are just getting off work so they can relax, play the game. Hey, you don't know what your target audience is. Your target audience comes to you and that becomes your audience, right? Um, so you don't know if you're dealing with people who possibly are colorblind. And, you know, being able to cater towards those people are awesome. Um, it, it would benefit the community a lot. Um, hearing impaired people as well. Fortnite has a feature where it has a circle and you get a general idea of where the enemy is and a generalized idea and with venge the venge uh sounds are absolutely amazing so it would only make sense that if someone's possibly hearing impaired that they could have a feature like that and it would be a generalized area so people can't abuse it to kind of get like some sort of advantage right I think that'd be a great feature because as someone who is a quote unquote pro or someone who quote unquote tryhards, <laughs> um, it, it, I have like such an advantage when it comes to being able to hear where the player spawns at and being able to know exactly where they're at just because I've been playing the game so long. I know these maps in and out and I know exactly where the enemies spawn at. So I think that's about it. I'm not going to overload you with ideas or suggestions, but this is pretty much my TED talk. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is what I think should be added to the game. Um, what can make the game better currently? Uh, and that's how I feel. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you later.